What up, YouTubers, YouTubeettes? So, um, right now I'm wrapping up making some uh, fuming nitric acid. And so what I'm going to do is make potassium sul bisulfate out of this byproduct. Because the other products, the nitric acid. And so this is what's going to be the potassium bisulfate. And so I'm going to let it cool and empty this into another container. And it's I'll be right back. All right, so there it is, and um, so now what I'm going to do is it dissolves at one gram to one milliliter of water, and so I'm going to heat it up and dissolve it in this, and I'm going to filter it, and I'll probably do that two or three times to do, one, to filter the particulates out, and then two, to help get the remaining sulfuric acid or nitric acid or any acid that's in there out, and um, so once I get to the filtering part, I'll be right back. Alright, so I added some water, and I'm just wrapping up on my first filter. And, um, it doesn't look like I've got any... Oh, yeah, crystals are starting to form down in the bucket. And so I'm going to wait for them to fully come out of the solution. And then I'm going to filter them again, and then um, get the solution cooled to make sure that all the crystals come out. And then all the liquid I'm going to dump off and put some new fresh water on there. And then do the process again. And um, once I get to there, I'll be back. So here's what they look like after that, after they sat for a while and then filtered. And this is after their first filtering. And um, they have a pretty nice crystal pattern. I'm not sure what... Um, design it is. I'm guessing that it's like a hexagonal or rectangular. I don't know. Um, but so anyways, so now I'm gonna uh, put them in water again, and then re I'm gonna re-dissolve them, and then I'm gonna re-crystallize them to keep purifying them and to get the acid out. And so. Um, once I get these, well, I suppose I don't need to show you guys that again, because it's pretty straightforward, the same thing over and over again. And so, yeah. Alright, so as you can see, I've got it all dissolved, and so now I'm going to run it through a filter, and that should, hopefully I'll, it'll filter fast enough that it won't recrystallize in my filter and plug it up. <laughs> uh, and so... I'm going to get it a little bit warmer first, so hopefully the heat will last a little bit longer, and filter it, and then that should recrystallize as soon as it cools. And even if um, I lose some in the solution here after I filter it, uh, I, just, I won't really be up too upset. I mean, it'll just be the, the first stuff that comes out of the solution will be the more pure stuff, and so it'll actually help with the purification, ultimately, I believe. Anyways, so yeah, I'll be back at that point. All right, so good and hot, and I'm gonna filter it into this clean bucket, and so I'll be back at, after that. All right, so through filtering, you can see I still got that much to come out um, in my filter. It just started crashing out quick, and it was still too hot to handle without gloves. And um, I mean, there's probably 10 or 15 grams right there. Then. If you look, you really can't really see white crystals in a white bucket. <laughs> but there's a good amount in my bucket. And um, so what I'm going to do is just reheat this and filter it again once everything crashes out in my bucket. And I'll reuse that liquid instead of adding more. And um, that way I can crash this out into my bucket and filter it. And uh, then I'm going to dry it in a vacuum filter and I'll be all done. It doesn't need to be dried in a vacuum filter, but I just I have one, so I'm gonna help move it along that way. But so, anyways, that's the whole process, guys. Pretty straightforward. Till next time. I just thought I'd show this real quick. This is what I took out of my bucket, um, but it's before the water even cooled and before I reheated this stuff up just so you can kind of get an idea of what it looked like now. Nice clear white crystals. Kind of salt textured. Alright, anyways, till next one.